What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, structural frame cassettes. Okay, so a quick Google uh, search, a cassette to those who of you who don't have any idea. So this is how it looks like. So something like this. See this image here? So it's like a rib. So you can actually do this also in small uh, frames of machineries like you put a welded uh, part on that area in a small machineries so in structural so we call this um, cassette okay so some uh, term in mechanical they call this rib okay so I'm going to teach you how to create this uh, uh, cassette by using uh, in place family all right so let's get started so what we are going to do, let's continue our discussion or uh, the same model that we are using last time. So after we create our uh, brace frame elevation, so let's say, for example, so this is where we are going to create our uh, frame cassette. Okay, so how to do that? So using an in-place family from the structure tab, so I'm going to select here the component drop down. So there's the model in place. Okay, so we are going to categorize this family as a structural stiffener. Okay, so that is what we are uh, going to do. So I select that and then I'll just select your okay. All right, so let's say for example for this one, I'm just going to call this uh, frame gasset. Okay, and then I'll just select your okay. All right, so now since we are on the uh, F, reference plane so for you to be able to check that you can actually select set here and then you will see that you are on the grid f so your work plane is on the grid f so nothing to worry about so we are just checking it okay so the next thing that uh, we are going to do is we're just going to use here an extrusion so from the create tab so there's the forms panel so i'm going to select here the extrusion so we'll be creating now our cassette. So let's say um, I want to create uh, somewhere here. Okay, so I'm just going to use the line tool. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab one here. I'm gonna pick this. Okay, you can actually, uh, I'm not going to specify an exact uh, distance here. I'm just going to show you how to do it using your extrusion so if you want to be specific uh, specific on the size you may do so okay so let's say for example that's the first part of my cassette so I'm going to mirror this to the other side again if you want to make it as exact size you can you can actually do that so in my case I'm just going to select this one and then after that I'm going to mirror this to the other side using the mirror peak axis so let's select that one and then after that, I'm going to select this vertical line here to mirror to the other side, just like that. And then let's say, for example, I want to create another one here. So let's say I want to have uh, another rectangular shape of the Z. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and select one here. Okay. If you, if, if you want to place that at the center or at the midpoint, so I can select that and then move snap to the mid point and then let's click there All right okay so that's our another set so let's say for example I also want to place one here so let's say I want to have a circular so I'm going to use arc so I click start and radius so I'm going to click one here I click another point here so let's say three feet I'm going to pick one here and then I'll just use line here so line and then click there you go okay then I select this move where's my midpoint okay so that's the center okay there you go okay now the next thing that we need to specify here is the thickness so you can specify the, th the thickness here so let's say example uh, minus uh, one half inch one half inch and one half inch one half inch enter okay and then you just need to select your okay so select okay 
and then select the check here. And there you have it. So basically using uh, in place family. So we can specify the material here. So you just need to select that, specify the material. So just click that button here, the browse button, and then you can select steel. So let's say I'll be using this one, any steel, and then I select OK, and then finish the model. Okay, so I select finish model, and there you go. Okay, you can go to the 3D view. So let's go check the 3D view and see how it looks out. There you go. Okay, so using in place family. Okay, so you can do that. Again, you can you can be uh, creative here by specifying the exact um, dimension. Okay, so I just created it without an exact dimension, but of course you can also do that. All right, so there you have it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.